what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? You're interrupting my brooding. This week, Lance gains an interest in rock music, so he learns to play guitar when he meets with Ian, the lead singer of his band, Disenfranchise. Oh, okay. So that's why the episode's called that. Well, <clears throat> he's offered to join their band and to attend their next concert. Meanwhile, General Steele sends a spy to Sherman High to discover the identity of Symbionic Titan. When the spy, Steve, narrows down their identities, they plan to expose them on the night of Lance's first concert. Will General Steele's attempt at catching Titan will be successful? Let's find out. Similarly to last week's episode where it talks about art, we have more of a different interpretation here, more so about mainstream and what is on the know, you know? And with this episode, I actually really like what they go with for in with Lance in this episode. He has another new hobby, just like with the last episode where he wanted to go into cars. Here, he learns how to play guitar and he generally has a good time showing it. I also love how Ilana is very supportive of him, same with Octus, and as they really want to support him with the band. As the episode goes on, we get to see how much Lance improves the band as with his performing, and it just helps as, you know, once they go to the concert, everyone is having a good time. Up and until the end where everything has to go back to the status quo. Why? But outside of that, I genuinely think this was honestly kind of a good way to continue the art theme in this episode, with this time more so on the perspective. Octus also gets some pretty good moments in this episode when he has to deal with the spy and <laughs> we get a very funny scene. I really like the kind of like rivalry he has like with the spy as he's trying to make sure that he doesn't expose them. And speaking of the spy, we actually get to see him do some detective work, asking a bunch of students about what happened, you know, around the school, especially with the blob monster from a couple episodes ago. And I actually like how they brought back some continuity. We get to see some of the old characters from that episode come back. We even get to see Octus his friend Meat comes back to just talk for a few and he has some funny moments. I generally can say that, yeah, I think this actually is a more good time here. I also absolutely love how this episode looks. We get a nice fun vibe with it, like especially with how we get to see these nice sunsets, especially with Lance trying to play the guitar. And we also get to see generally some nice perspective shots and some good shadowing. And yeah, for an episode that is have to do with story, this does a good job at showcasing the vibe of what Symbiont Tank can be without all the action. And of course, the action in here is also amazing. We get to see Titan form a new weapon and it looks really incredible. Ultimately, the biggest downside with this episode is that, like I said, this doesn't really have to do with the story. It's a filler episode. So it's like, nothing too crazy is gonna come out of this one. I feel like if you were to show somebody an episode of Sit By On A Titan as their first impression, I feel like this would not be the one way to go. But I would say that it's not bad either. Overall, I can say that this episode is pretty decent. Is it amazing? No. Is it bad? Not really. Hell, I would say there's way better fillers in the early parts of the series than this one. But I could definitely say, yeah, I feel like this is kind of a good time and that's all you're gonna get. Try not to expect not that much, like, you know, lore. I give Disenfranchise a 7 out of 10. Well, now you can start your own band. We could be the galactic trio. I've been told I have a lovely singing voice. Octus can play drums. 